animal sold is sold as a city. When you say animal cells, it consists of eukaryotic cells or cells with a membrane-bound nucleus. Unlike prokaryotic cells, DNA in animal cells is housed within the nucleus. In addition to having a nucleus, animal cells also contain other membrane-bound organelles or tiny cellular structures that carry out specific functions necessary for normal cellular operation. Organelles have a wide range of responsibilities that include everything from producing hormones and enzymes to providing energy for animal cells. Animal cells is distinct from those of other eukaryotes, most notable plants, as they lack cell wall and chloroplasts and having a smaller vacuoles. Due to the lack of a cell wall, Animal cells can adopt a variety of shapes. A pagocytic cell can even engulf other structures. As you can see in the picture, this is the structure of the animal cells. And we're going to discuss each of the parts of the animal cells. The first one is the cell membrane. Cell membrane is allowing some substances to pass into the cell and blocking others. So if the substances can help the cell, it can be allowed. But if it's not, it rejects it. In some words, it can be called as fluid mosaic model. Second one is centrosome. Centrosome during mitosis aids in dividing of the cell and moving up the chromosome to the opposite sides of the cell. In other words, it's also called as microtubule organizing center. So it organizes all the substances and gives the substances to the other part. Next part is cytoplasm. Cytoplasm maintains the pressure of the cell, ensures the cell doesn't shrink or burst. In other terms, it's called as fluid matrix. After cytoplasm, we have Golgi body. Golgi body is also called as Golgi apparatus or Golgi complex. And it is the packaging center of the cell. And also, that is modified the molecules from the raw ER by dividing them into smaller units with membrane known as vesicles. After Golgi body, we have lysosome. Lysosome is also called the cell vesicles, and it containing digestive enzymes where the digestion of cell nutrient takes place. Next is mitochondrion, and mitochondrion is also called as a powerhouse of the cell. It converts the energy stored in glucose into ATP or adenosine triphosphate for the cell. Next is nuclear membrane. Nuclear membrane is the membrane that surrounds the nucleus. So this is the nucleus. Next thing is nucleus. It is where ribosomal RNA is produced. After nucleus, we have nucleus. It controls many of the functions of the cell by controlling protein synthesis and contains DNA in chromosomes. It's ribosomes. Ribosomes is a site for protein synthesis where the translation of the RNA takes place. Next is endoplasmic reticulum. Endoplasmic reticulum transport system of the cell. It has smooth and rough endoplasmic reticulums. First is rough e endoplasmic reticulus or rough ER. That is the fast system of the interconnected membranes enfolded and convoluted sacs. 
So this is a sac. Next is a smooth endoplasmic reticulum. The same process, but in this case, that is a tube. And the last part of the animal cell structure is the vacuoles. Vacuoles is the storage organelles. Vacuoles cause function for transport in or out of the cells. So this, all the parts of the animal cell structure. Thank you for listening to PDL World. See you again. Bye.